have a mental illness. Mental depression is so severe that outside doctors have pretty much given up. When I came here, I was kind of leery of why I was seeing a, a pharmacist. I would get sick, I would wander the streets, I lost a lot of weight, and I missed all the holidays with my children. We have pharmacists in roles on the inpatient unit. We still have that. We've had that for a long time. But I think the roles are actually um, um, have developed over time, so that the pharmacists are truly an integrated component of uh, the treatment team and provide extremely valuable information uh, because the pharmacists learn in great depth uh, many of the things about the psychopharmacology that um, even the attendings you know haven't learned. Uh, plus the ability to carry the knowledge about other types of drugs and drug interactions and so on uh, is something that I, f I have found extremely valuable. The favorite aspect of my job is talking to the patients. I love talking to them. We get a chance to sit down for 30 minutes and not only go over how the medications are doing, but how the patient is doing. We have to ask them the target symptoms to find out if their antidepressant is uh, improving their mood. We get a chance to really talk to them and get to know them. I find it fascinating to be able to watch how these medications interact with the patient. Most patients are different, but from the background that I have, I can see the side effects that occur. I can see the effects of the medication on the patient, and I can use my knowledge to minimize those side effects and get the most benefit to the patient from the medication. So one of the additional roles that a psychiatric pharmacist could do um, includes participating in research. And really the roles in research are varied. It could run from the gamut of doing um, clinical bench type of work like genotyping and developing assays to help us identify what types of patients may do well for one drug um, or do worse for one drug depending on their status. Um, other types of research include participating in different types of research where you're identifying say barriers to receiving an optimal care. And some of those types of research include um, identifying factors associated with medication non-compliance or non-adherence, um, factors associated with side effects. Um, that would lead to the next step in this type of research where you would be developing strategies to minimize those barriers uh, so that you would have positive outcomes in, in patients with mental health disorders. The field of psychiatry is complex and diverse with new information being published every day. As a psychiatric pharmacist, we also provide education to providers, including psychiatrists and physicians, primarily regarding medication-related issues. For example, we answer drug-related questions, questions about what medication to choose, how to help a treatment-resistant patient, and we help solve problems associated with side effects or adverse events related to psychotropic medications. For teaching, we have students from different schools of pharmacy that we precept and we train residents either during their first year of residency and in addition to the specialty residency. I wanted to do a psych rotation because when I was in pharmacy school I really liked uh, CNS or the, you know, the class itself and it was really interesting to me. It was actually one of my favorite therapeutic courses. And so I knew that doing a rotation would allow me to see how you apply what you learn in the classroom into the actual field. And it was a very rewarding rotation and I would definitely recommend it to other students. We do medication education on the inpatient psychiatric unit once every week. And we talk about topics as broad as disease states in general, like insomnia or depression, to more specific things such as side effects that patients can experience from certain medications. And I think that it provides a good forum, not just for us to teach them certain things we think they should know, but for them to also ask us as pharmacists questions that they want to know about their medications that they may not already know. My second year of pharmacy school, I went to work for the county hospital, and uh, my second day on the job, the pharmacist uh, supervisor asked me to go over to the mental health unit to help out over there, and I had no experience in psychiatry before. I went over there, and on the first day there, 
a patient came up to our clinic pharmacy and he had big, wide, scared eyes and uh, told the pharmacist there that he was hearing the voices again. I was kind of scared. I had never had any experience with psychiatry before. The pharmacist sat him down and, and talked to him and told him about medications, told him about what we can do to help him, and he calmed him down. And I really liked seeing that it was a, an immediate effect on the patient. He immediately calmed down, and um, although he was still ill, he had hope, and um, he knew that he was going to get better. At that point in, in uh, psychiatry, and it was very, very exciting. Her being a pharmacist, she knows the medication. She was able to provide more medication uh, choices than psychiatrist I've seen on the outside. For about five years, I have been without any incidents of being sick. I now have a job, I spend time with my children, and I'm able to spend holidays and vacations with them. It really was helpful to have a clinical pharmacist make the recommendation for that new drug.